Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be calling this a freezer haul. My friend has a chest freezer that was under a bit of a situation. See, her husband's a chef and he put some crab legs in there and it was kind of back in the corner and they forgot about it. And those crab legs stunk up that whole entire freezer. And she's one of those people where she just can't do fish smells. I don't know if you know any of those kind. My mom is one of those. She just doesn't do shrimp. She can do tuna, but that's it. Any other kind of like fish seafood smell just makes her sick where she just loses her appetite. So I understand that. And that was the situation with my friend. So she decided to gift me her whole entire freezer full of food if I come over and help her clean it, which of course I said yes. So this is my freezer haul from her freezer. She can no longer have this due to the smell of it. And it does smell like crab, let me tell you. That was uh, quite the drive home. But that's okay, mama bear doesn't mind. So we're gonna go through all this food and see what we got. And uh, I'm gonna try and figure out how to get all this in my freezer. So let's get in here and I'll show you what I got. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Carolina and I live in Montana. I do a lot of food bank hauls, pantry cooking, and canning and preserving on my channel. If that's the kind of content you're into, I hope you'd consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my family. All right guys, let's get in this and I'll show you what food I got. All right, first things first, we got a bag of baked beans here. Now I just did a recipe with baked beans called cowboy beans. It was really good. So I'm probably going to use this to make that. I did that in my Instapod. There's two things of these roasted Brussels sprouts with bacon and dried cranberries. Oh, I think that sounds delicious. I know uh, this is a friend I went over to my friend's giving for and she had these as a backup in her freezer in case that happened. So these have been there since Thanksgiving at least. And uh, who doesn't love a tasty Brussels sprout, right? There's also some cornbread cranberry stuffing with turkey Italian sausage. So that sounds tasty. We got a bread of dip, a bread. We got a bread of bags. <laughs> we got a bag of bread that is just the frozen dough. So that way you can thaw this and you can bake your own bread. This is Rhodes brand, which is a very good bread brand. We got four containers here of Yukon gold mashed potatoes. These were probably also for Thanksgiving that she had extra in there. And then one container of mushroom and truffle ravioli from Trader Joe's. This says for freeze by July of 2020. So this has been in the freezer for a while. So this is probably gonna be one of the first things that we eat. And then here's some butternut squash ravioli. This looks like it was from Costco. And this has the date of 1222 to freeze by. So this is not that old. And this is 123. So this is before. So we'd use this one first. Whenever you're eating food, if you have two of the same item with a different date, you want to eat the date that's closest to expired. That system is called first in, first out, or FIFO. That is when you eat the very first food that is gonna get expired first. Now it's not necessarily the first food that you get in. So you can get something from the food bank that goes out sooner than something you already have in your cupboard. So you wouldn't put that behind the one you have, you would put it in front of because of the expiration date. So that is called FIFO, just a little chef tip for you. And then I'm calling this my potato section. We have one bag of Yukon Gold hash browns and then two more. So three bags of shredded hash browns. Here's a bag of sweet potato fries. Oh, a bag of onion rings. I love onion rings. And then some tater tots. So that's a nice addition to the freezer. Some nice quick convenience meals. I think I need to have a word with my friend about her addiction to wontons. <laughs> or should I say dumplings? We got the vegetables and chicken dumplings, pork and vegetable dumplings, mini wontons, pork and vegetable dumplings extra large pork and vegetable dumplings, chicken and vegetable pot stickers, and finally a three pound bag of fully cooked wontons from Costco. Would you say an intervention's in order? And then we have some stuffed gnocchi. It is stuffed with tomato sauce and mozzarella. Oh, that sounds good. So that's cool. I've never actually never had gnocchi before and I've never made it before. So this will be a first for me. We got some spinach bites here. These would probably be good in the air fryer. 
Same with these banana fritters. Oh, that sounds really good, banana fritters. Slice thin bananas in coconut milk, rice flour, and sesame seed batter. Got two of these chicken tiki marsalas. Oh, it still smells like crab. Cream spinach with Parmesan. That sounds really good. Got a personal pan, pizza, some bagel dogs. <laughs> Or are these called bagel pups because they're small? Hmm. I'm pretty excited about this. I love cordon bleu. I have not had cordon bleu in a long time. And cordon bleu is just chicken stuffed with ham and Swiss cheese. So the combination of chicken, ham, and Swiss cheese is the cordon bleu profile flavors. So this is a chicken breast stuffed with that and then breaded. This looks really good. And this has six of them, so that's perfect for us. There's also this big box of spinach egg whites frittatas. So those look good. I might be able to get the kids to eat those. Husband will probably have no interest. Egg whites, where's that yolk? Blech. Healthy? I don't like it. Ugh, men. And then here's a box of fried green beans. And then I've never seen ramen in the freezer before. Um, this says Best Buy September of 21. So this has been in the freezer for a while. This will be another one we'll have to eat up. It says ramen noodles with tender white chicken, meat and vegetables, and a Tokyo style soy sauce broth. Sounds pretty good. Oh, I see. So you just, oh, there was one random one in there too. Okay, so that's what these are. Well, these look pretty good. These would be perfect for husband's lunch. He wouldn't mind these. And also Betty Jan has discovered that she likes the ramen, like the styrofoam. Ow. Opened up my cut. Dang it. Hold on. So this came with six of them and then we had one extra. So a total of seven of these bowls. And then some of these, I'm not even going to try. Akali, Akali, uh, Aflac bowls. And it has a little pouch. I think you're supposed to let these thaw. And then it has like granola and shaved coconut that you put on top of it. So those are kind of cool. Probably something I'm going to eat. What's up, Gideon? I'm going to eat some drink. And then the last thing with the ready to eat foods, we have four frozen cheese pizzas. So, score. They also do a lot of camping, so they like to keep frozen Caprice Sun in there, and also for lunches. So there was some frozen Caprice Sun, which I will probably just let thaw and let the kids have. And then just a bag full of applesauce pouches that I'm probably gonna let thaw and let the kids just go ahead and have these. Since they don't really do school lunches, uh, since we homeschool, I don't really need to send anything for lunch. I do like to keep some of these for if we're doing picnics, if we decide to go to the river, or go to the park or something, then these will also would be good for that. So I might hide a couple, but we'll see. So we got some of these as well. Now let me put this away and I'll put the next round of food. We're gonna go through three rounds here. This is the first round. The next one is gonna be the fruits and the veggies and I'll show you what we got. All right, let's go for the veggies. We have a giant bag of sheet pan vegetables. This comes with Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, broccoli florets, red onion, and zucchini. Sounds very convenient for a fast vegetable that I would need on a busy night. Little bag of cheese, big old bag of sweet corn, big old bag of peas. We got a couple bags of corn. Well, a couple little bags, let's see, a total of four, including the one I threw on the floor. We had a big bag of avocado, diced toss avocados. Here's some sweet peas in a light buttery sauce. Two of those. Uh, butternut squash spirals. That's pretty good. January of 2021. So this is two years old. Probably another thing that we're probably going to need to use first. It's a thing of spinach leaf, butternut squash, one more corn, oh, and stickage. Ah. All righty, well, popsicle. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, um, marinated mushrooms. That sounds pretty good. Two bags of those. 
Edamame! <laughs> I don't like edamame. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. This would be probably good, like, mixed in with a stir fry or something. I mean, it's good for you. Blech. I guess I'll eat it. <laughs> and then we have four bags of steamable crinkle cut carrots. So, yes. So that's all the vegetables that were in there. Let me wipe this up while it's... Ah, that's better. Okay. And for the fruit, we have a big pouch of mixed berries, perfect for smoothies. She is a smoothie lover, so that's probably what she used them for. And then here's, oh, here's some more of that funny word. I know you guys are going to make fun of me if I can't say it. Well, if my husband is here, he'd tell me it's Akai. I don't know. I'm not even going to say it. But here's some super fruit packs. So this is probably also for smoothies. You just pour this in. There's some jackfruit, ripe jackfruit. Uh, May of 2021, so this also needs to get used. Oh, this will be fun to try with the kids. Maybe make a smoothie. Here's a pouch of whole strawberries. Dark sweet cherries. Big old gallon Ziploc of peaches. This will be fun to thaw. I actually found a bag of peach pits and skins that I still have left over from my peach video. If you haven't seen that where I harvested two whole cases of peaches and preserved them all. Well, I didn't harvest them. I preserved them all. I can link that video below. But this would be good to make something peachy with these. And then I will get those peach pits and skins out of my freezer because I can use these as well and make some peach scrap jelly. Doesn't that sound like a band name? I swear it does. And then here's some more mixed fruit, blueberries, strawberries, and mango. That's yummy. And then we have two bags here of dragon fruit. Never had dragon fruit before, so that'll be fun. And then here's a passion fruit tropical blend. So lots of good fruit choices for smoothies. I just love cherries. Would you make, what would you do with this? Make a cherry pie, or you could do Let's see, these are really good out of a bowl mixed with yogurt in a smoothie over ice cream or in a truly unique pie. These are November of 21, so these also got lots of old fruit. This looks good. Has anybody tried jackfruit before or dragon fruit? What do you guys think of it? All right, guys, now for the proteins. You ready? I'm ready. Let me get it up here. <laughs> This is one of the biggest deep freezes I have ever seen, like besides a commercial one. Like it's probably double the size of mine, if not triple. Now it wasn't completely crammed full, but it was a good halfway full, which is still a whole chest freezer in my size. So this is gonna be quite interesting in how I'm gonna get all of this in here. A lot of this I'm probably gonna have to can and get it on my shelf because it won't fit in the freezer, especially with those two cases of bacon that I have in there currently. So, things are going to be interesting. It's a good thing I'm good at Tetris. So let's get into this meat bags and I'll show you what I got. First thing is a pack of boneless, skinless, organic chicken thighs. So that's nice. Two packets of party wings here. Now I love chicken wings, but I have never made them at home and I really want to. I have an air fryer. Um, I could use my cast iron and fry them as well. So if you make some pretty good tasty wings, will you please let me know in the comments below how to make them because I would love to make some good homemade wings. I love them so much. And then we got a giant bag of chicken breast here. Let's see if this has a date, July of 2023. So this is brand new. So this will be great and good for meal prepping. And we have one pack of cooked chicken fajita, which is just grilled chicken already cooked, so that's convenient. Got a rack of lamb here. This is nice. Frenched means that the bones have been scraped down, so they look pretty. And this is from September of 21, so this is a year and a half in there, so this is also one of the things we will be using. Um, yeah, so we'll be... Uh, cooking up some lamb soon. It's a big pack of Kirkland hot dogs. 
Now here is a giant pork belly. This is, let's see, this is from August of 21 as well. So this is almost two years past the Best Buy, but it's frozen, you know, frozen solid. And this is 10 pounds of pork belly. Please give me some ideas on what to do with that. I do not have a smoker, nor do I have a grill of any kind. I do have a roasting pan. I do have a meat slicer. I got, you know, the oven. So any ideas on this will be fantastic. If I need to break it down and put it in several different dishes, I'm good with that as well. Wagyu beef, corned beef brisket. Oh, this is gonna be perfect for St. Patrick's Day coming up. I've gotten one of these before at the food bank right after St. Patrick's Day when all the corned beef gets donated to the food bank because it doesn't sell. I got one of these and it was so good. Like, it was a delicious corned beef. So I am super excited for this. This is by May of 21, so it's almost two years as well. So I am definitely gonna be saving this baby for St. Patrick's Day, which happens to be my birthday, so happy birthday to me. And then we have a whole chicken here. One organic chicken, 6.6 .6 pounds. So that's always nice to have a whole chicken. We got one pack of bacon here, cause you know, we always need more bacon. Beef loin, top sirloins, cap steak, boneless, prime steaks wow this is amazing so this is just they she just got this in august and look at my son poking a hole freaking kids you turn your back for one second and they're poking holes in the plastic i guess we're gonna have to eat these first two now hmm and then here is one pork tenderloin we got two packages here of top round roast. Uh, both of them have the plastic compromised here and there, probably in the transport. So I'm gonna thaw this and I think I'm gonna turn these into beef jerky because I still have a dehydrator I need to test out and I wanna make jerky. And I hear that top round is a good cut to make jerky. If that's true, all my jerky lovers, will you let me know in the comments below? So I think that's my plan for these. And here's two of the carne asadas. It's already marinated, ready to cook. It's a citrus marinade, thinly sliced for the grill. So this looks good. We got two packets of these. Oh, and then these packs here, what are these? Ugh. Uh, creamed spinach, creamed spinach, and mystery white sauce. Oh, mashed potatoes. Oh, nice. So a couple pre-made, ready-to-eat foods. Oh, what was it called? And then we got a pack of ground beef here. A triple pack here. Triple pack! August of 22, so this is brand new as well. Um, this will probably just continue to put in the freezer, or I do need to get some cooked hamburger on my shelf, so that might be another video coming soon, how to can up your own hamburger. I absolutely love it. Oh, and look, more bacon. Three more packs of bacon here. And she had some of these uh, margarita frozen cocktails. Have you guys tried any of these? This is 6% uh, alcohol. I don't know, sometimes those frozen drinks just have so much sugar in them, it, I, it messes me up. Uh, 15 grams of sugar, that's not bad. Like you know which ones I'm talking about, like those frozen daiquiris, like whew, those are too sweet for me. I like beer, I'm a beer girl, but these look pretty good. Um, I forgot, it does it say a flavor? Oh, mango, <laughs> it says mango. One for me, myself, and I, perfect. And that is everything that I was graciously gifted today. Holy moly, what a crazy day this turned into. What a great message to receive when she calls and says, you know, I just can't stand the smell of all this food. It's really making me sick. I don't even wanna look at it. Will you please just come and get it? So I'm like, okay, ugh, but. It definitely does smell like crab though. I gotta wash my hands now. So I might get a towel and wipe everything down. Hopefully this doesn't make all of my stuff smell like crab as well, but free food is free food. So I'm gonna have my head in the freezer for the rest of the night trying to get all this organized. I do think I'm gonna try some of this food for dinner though. I didn't have anything planned. So I'm thinking about throwing in those chicken cordon bleus and then maybe that Brussels sprouts and we can thaw one of those mashed potatoes. Sounds pretty good to me. 
If you guys have any ideas of what I could do to prep this food, please let me know in the comments below. Now, if you want to support my channel, a way to do that is the little icon below that's called Buy Me a Coffee. And it has my profile, and you can donate one coffee, five coffee, ten coffees. You know, Mama Bear loves her coffee. So if you're just feeling generous, or you want to help me out, or you really appreciate the hard work I put into making videos for you guys, and you want to leave me a little tip, Obviously, it's not expected at all, but any little bit helps me and my family and supports my channel and our dream of owning our own homestead. So thank you so much for all of your love and support, guys. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time on Mama Bairds.